Christianity, we gotta talk. You make my job really hard sometimes. All I want to do is research these cool ancient mythologies and find out how they work. But half the time when I start looking, it's like, oh sorry, we've been Christian for 1500 years. We couldn't possibly tell you about our nifty pantheon of pagan gods and the sparkling tapestry of mythology they wove together because we've just gotten way into Big J and the Magnificent Twelve. I just want to learn, man. Sweet Mother Mary, that is a lot of stabbing! Scotland, who hurt you? Trick question, England. We've got this sparkling tapestry of infinite mystery and I'm supposed to get invested in a fortune cookie. No thanks. Wow, that's such a Gemini thing to say. I will cut you. The Tamias and Critias weren't just the names of Yu-Gi-Oh cards from the filler season about Atlantis. Also, that Yu-Gi-Oh knew more about Atlantis than I did. That one... that one kinda stung. Rome, Venice, and Constantinople clearly weren't losing any sleep about it. Oh, Cleo, what are you meowing about? I know, slavery's bad. Come here. Come here. Come here. Oh, good cat. Good cat. Who's a little floofy boot? He's you. He's you. Come on. Then asks if maybe she could breastfeed the baby. A little weird, but okay, I guess. But Putana isn't just being a weirdo. She's actually poisoned her boobs. How dastardly. The Scottish king is Macbeth, whom hereafter shall be referred to exclusively as McBoy because that play is haunted and I'm not looking for trouble. Yeesh, Javelin dodged. Moral of the story? Probably, uh, keep your promises, be true to your responsibilities, and, uh, oh yeah, stop boning animals. Jeez, guys.